G'day. So today I'm taking a look at these LCR tweezers or LCR bridge tweezers by Zoe Zotec. So they're called Zotec in the US and everywhere else they're known as Zoe. Comes in this nice case. So you've got the USB A to C cable instruction manual and yeah, the tweezers just come in here. So it fits in nicely. I'll tear off the protective film. There we go. So I've got uh, three buttons here. Got the mode power button, got the whole level left, frequency menu right. So let's turn it on. So we've got multiple modes. It's in automatic mode. You can go to resistance, capacitance, and inductance. So LCR. Got a, a simple diode test mode. Got a continuity and back to automatic. You can change the frequency. So 100, 1K and 10,000. I think you could change the voltage to, yeah, 3.3 3 volts, 0. 0.6 volts by pressing this one. So I've got USB-C charging and you can also update the firmware. I've actually updated the firmware twice now. Hold the menu, got language, <laughs> left, right, language, volume, uh, yeah, calibration, timer, about, and it's at version 1.7. So it was at 1.4, 1.5, I upgraded it to 1.6 and 7. So 1.7 lets me press the hold button while doing a measurement, and it will record the measurement to a file. So you can do data logging using the hold button. Got menu. So I've got this brand new uh, DMM Check Plus. It's a revision eight. Got LCR, so you got capacitance, inductance, and resistance here. You can also measure the voltage AC DC. It's about five volts reference and the current, which we go through and measure the resistance. So if we take a look, we're expecting what's that? One hundred K. So we've got 100, 10K, we've got 9.997, so 1K, we've got 1, 1K, that's pretty good, <laughs> and 100, so 99.98, it's pretty close. We've got the inductance, so 1, 100. So measuring 109, yeah, 109.7, should be 10, got 10.16, 1, 0.8, and then the capacitance, so 994, 10.17, 100.7 and 1.01. So let's do a little comparison with another, it's like a UNIT UT116. It's got 100. So 10K should be the next. 9.98. Need 1K for the next one. Let's do capacitance. 0.99. Ten point oh nine nanofarads, one hundred nanofarads, and one point oh two. So very similar to the Zoe MD one. I like the OLED display personally, but yeah, it's, the tweezers are quite different in size because they're bent inwards. These ones are kind of straight when you put them together, but might want to bend them inwards. Got this Zoe ZT111. So yeah, it should read five and it's reading five. Oh, 4.9995. So that, that's pretty good. Now let's try the current. Reading about one. There we go. Um, yeah, so that's pretty close. 
go back and measure the resistance. So we got 100, 9.98, 1 1.0, so 1k, 100.3, so yeah, 100.2, the capacitance, so we got 0.97, 10.12 should be 100, 100.5, and we've got 1.04. So <laughs> this little cheap multimeter is really nice. It's a good little portable one. It's the Zoe ZT 111, <laughs> 447. So it should be about 40, 470. The R is, I got resistance of 300, 270. D 0.06. We can use a a diode it'll tell you what direction it's in so i can flip that around and it will rotate the direction on the screen so there's a diode just flips around it only has 0.6 volt out so it can't really do leds that well i think you need like 2.53 volts So here we go, let's, we've got plus minus on this, you have to rotate it, I think. There we go. So there's the LED. So we can test the LED with these Unity 116. Uh, puts out enough voltage. So here's the Zogi MD1, it's a LCR tweezer. Hooked up to a Zoe 703S oscilloscope. So got 10K, that's 100 hertz. Uh, I got 1K, back to 10. Let's leave it on 1K and I'll change the voltage. So it's on 0.6 of a volt. Let's change it to uh, 0.3. So you can see the change in voltage there from 0.3 to 0.6, oh, timed out. <laughs> so can change the voltage 0.3 to 0.6, change the frequency. So 1K, 10K, 100. And if we, what's the time? There you go, <laughs> there's the time. That's 10K. Ten K one hundred. Cool. So yeah, that's the Zoe seven oh three S oscilloscope.